I'm a giant when I stand Ballin' like the Jets, startin' jersey like the Nets To New York like the Mets, yeah I win like the Yanks Like the Pats, fill a check, GNT Sports Talk How to show on the net, yeah On myself, yeah I bet, yeah I put blood to the switch, yeah From the East to the West, GNT Sports Talk How to show on the net, yeah David, I started reading your book that you and Jack wrote on the way down to Florida, actually. And I have a funny question for you about 98. So what were your thoughts when you talked to that Dodgers reporter? Did you think they were going to use that as bulletin board material? Or did you think it was like not going to be that big of a deal when you said it? Oh, back in 88, 1988? Yeah. Oh, geez, no, I was a fool. I was so young <laughs> and dumb. I didn't know what the heck was going on. Um, you know, I never even saw the final copy. You know, Bob Clappish was the ghostwriter, and they gave me the byline. It was as if I sat behind a typewriter and actually wrote that article. Uh, you know, it's, but it, it's certainly some, some of the things that I did say in there that I thought were kind of facetious or joking around, they came off the wrong way, so I kind of had to own up to it. Um, I didn't know what to expect, to answer your question. Had I, had I had the ability to see what was written before I allowed my name to be put on it, Obviously, I would have stopped it in its tracks, but I never really got that chance. So, you know, uh, it's, I wouldn't say I got thrown under the bus because some of those things I did say, and it taught me a lesson about being careful. Yeah, I think I called Oral Hershiser lucky, and mm -hmm. Jay Hal had a high school looking curveball, I think, or something. Yeah, that was it. I, remember, I, I got you. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, yeah, I did not expect that to, to, to make it to the, to, uh, to the paper, certainly not with my byline. You know, my picture oh, yeah. and my name on that article that Bob Clappish wrote, uh, you know, that was some mistake. Who do you think is the most know. underrated pitcher on the Yankees right now that no one's really talking about? Well, I would like to say, you know, uh, that, that, that potentially the most underrated pitcher on the Yankees would be somebody like a Luis Sessa. Who yes, really kind I of was like, hoping you'd say him. You know, I kind of think that, you know, people have been kind of, you know, <laughs> waiting on him. You know, uh, he, he made some strides last year and, you know, is he better in the bullpen or as a starter, kind of a swing guy? I can definitely give you once or twice through the order. But um, it, to me, it's always with him. It's been about confidence. You know, he was a converted uh, position player. So his, his his time on the mound has been somewhat limited. You know, he, he's not like, a, not like a pure pitcher at heart. You know, he's still kind of learning his craft as a pitcher. And I saw some strides that he made last year.